Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I shall be reviewing the Classico Collection Season 2 from TCC Magic. Before I do this, usual stuff, like, subscribe if you like it and you want to subscribe to it. Have a look at onlinemagic.co, that's my membership site. Over 900 videos, that's my life, my life's work. Have a look at it, 9.99 a month, preposterous. I'm devaluing myself is what I'm doing. Live sessions every week, special guests, not for a while, but they'll be starting up again soon. But uh, if you want to be a phenomenal magician, there's enough to get you going on there with that project. So have a look at that. Right, talking about classical magic, which we weren't, that's right, not what we were talking about at all. Beautiful segue. Um, but good magic, that's what we're talking about. This is, I love TCC stuff. I love classic magic and I like well-made magic. And this ticks those boxes that I just made up myself. I did review the classical collect the Classico collection one, which I really, really liked. But it's not for everybody, probably. So that's why we're doing this. So first of all, the kind of values behind this or the value that yeah the, the values behind this are classic magic well-made magic and practical magic magic that works is magical but is also kind of an homage if that's the right way to say it. i never really know can't bet say homage it sounds like a pie um so the homage to the old tricks but they're beautiful and this is important because i think that's really what this is about the first of these I'm going to talk about is the on-off box. This is a switching device, uh, so you can put in something relatively thin. <laughs> you know, it's not, not the most versatile switching device. And it's a shame it's, it doesn't really, you can switch a set of cards, but you can't really do a whole deck. It looks a bit full, maybe a deck of um, manipulation cards. But these, it, but it's still really good. It's really nice. And if you're doing a parlor show, and it's, it's, that's what it's made for, really. So it can be a torn and restored card. It could be a piece of mentalism where an em a blank piece of paper, empty piece of paper, is put in an empty box, and then you open the box, and that, then it has the prediction or something written on it. So it's great, easy, self-working, all good. You have to be a little bit careful about kind of your, your choreography, um, but it's very lovely. The, this, is, now I, this is great, and this is a proper fooler. Now, we all love colour vision. Well, some of you might not do, but I love it because of the simplicity of it, where someone would name the uh, put a, a cube in a box with any colour facing up and you'd be able to tell them what colour it was. It's a classic thing. Now, what they've done is they've mixed this with that thing you get in kids' magic sets where they put a dice in the little cylinder and you know what number is face up. And I'll tell you what, that is a fooler. That trick is a complete fooler. So if you've got a magic set at home and it's got that on it, Show it to people. I used to demonstrate it on, on a stall in Covent Garden and it it completely fooled people. They've, they've kind of mixed the two. So colour vision being the colour, that being the dice. And now you've got two rather than one cube as in colour vision. So they can decide what dice they want. These are all Cambodian rosewood, I think. Uh, very, very beautifully made. Big old dice, you know, they give it you behind your back. You put the dice down onto the table and you can, um, you can tell them what dice it was. Now you can just do that or you can use it for any card at any number because now you've got a delay, you know the dice, you can put them down and then you can do what you need to do to, to make a number happen. So any kind of piece of mentalism with a watch or a number you can use and it's you know not using no tech or anything like that. And I know, unlike me, a lot of us don't like that. So that's great. Again, made beautifully, really lovely piece of kit. Now, my favourite out of these, and there's always a favourite, last time it was the free body game with the, the kind of bulls, um, bulls in the neck kind of routine. This is the Immortal Wine Glass routine, and I really like this. I love the aesthetic of coins and this kind of wood. It looks nice. And I did a little thing on social media just to test out how it would play. Because um, it is a classic, you know, it's, it's like all this stuff. It's, gonna, it's magical, but it isn't going to totally fry people like a lot of stuff that we do um well, it kind of is but in a different way 
But it's beautiful. So th this is a really lovely thing and it is magical. People aren't going to know how it's done. It's totally self-working if you have to rehearse it, but there's no difficult sleight of hand unless you want to do the vanish at the end. You've got to be a little bit careful with handling, but a little bit of rehearsal, you're going to be fine. And there's the transposition effect where the coins are crossed basically using the, the cups, even though glasses are clearly uh, wooden cups. And there's a um, penetration effect and you'll be able to think of loads you can do with this, even like a mini cups and balls routine, but with coins with a, maybe a final load. But I think it's lovely. My favorite, but they're, they're all great. Now, if I was gonna say what was my least favorite, probably the box because it, it, it kind of is there. I mean, there's something about it that I think people are gonna know it's the box, but you use it in a way that isn't just all about that being the trick. It's not like I'm gonna change this for that. Look, and it changed. It's kind of used incidentally, but and this is great. I just think it's really lovely stuff. It's the kind of magic you want at home to show people when they come round, have on the shelf. That's why it is a collection. And I think there's something in it that is magical, not just the tricks, but the, the props themselves, which is clearly what they're going for. Now, this is a Kickstarter. So at the time of recording, there are 10 days of this left. So if you are interested, go on the Kickstarter. The link will be below, and then you can get it for nearly half price. Um, it's a bargain, this stuff as well. I think all of TCC Classico stuff's a bargain, actually. The knives that they haven't released yet, they had them at Blackpool, I thought were going to be really expensive, and they're not. And now they're clearly going to be a little bit more expensive than they were there. But I, I think it's well-priced, this stuff, and it's well-made. So um, I think that's it. You know, there's not loads to say about it. It looks lovely. It's well-made. It's um, this is There is a kind of a story this is based on, but in it's... Uh, in the UK, we're not familiar with the story, but that doesn't matter, I think. I think you can make your own presentations. Um, and if you like those tricks, you're going to be happy with what you get. You know, this, there's nothing really to go wrong with this. So uh, that's the Classico Collection 2. Thank you, TCC, for sending those to me. Any other questions? I've banner have missed out loads because I've kind of rushed this out in time for the Kickstarter in case you want to get on board with that. Um, but if not, you'll be able to get it on the TCC site as well as all of their other stuff. I find TCC very hard to say because I've got a list, so I'm going to stop saying it now. I need to drink water now, please. Right, thanks very much. Have a great one. And uh, do check out my Instagram, at Steve Faulkner. I'm putting loads of stuff on there now. So have a look at that, and TikTok as well, Steve Faulkner, without the V and the E. Uh, and of course, onlinemagic.co. And the podcast is starting again soon, I properly promise, in a slightly different way, I think. And um, have a good one. Right, take care. See you later. Bye.